Assalamu alaikum guys, what's up? Today we'll be discussing how we can upload our website for free. Like we can deploy our websites for free. So here's the code of um, the website that I um, made and I uploaded it on GitHub, which is here in my master directory. You can see there's a master directory and there are assets and app and if you go to app and you can see there are some uh, my you know components and I have made this application uh, sorry web application on um, angular. So um, let's just go to Netlify. You can uh, type Netlify on your Google Chrome browser any, any browser you like and after that what you're gonna do and click on the first you know a link and uh, it'll, this is the website that you are going to see so if you go to the pricing of Netlify you can see that it's for free it's this for starter if you have a like if you're building your portfolio website or any if you're a starter right uh, or fresher so you can start for free so uh, but if you have uh, if you want to deploy your, for your business or something so you can go for the for the other plans right so uh, today we are going for a starter plan for start for free Let's hit start for free. And I have um, added my, my GitHub account I with, um, you know, Netlify. Because obviously, uh, as a developer, we upload our codes on GitHub. So it's better to add your account with GitHub. Otherwise, you can you have other options too. You can add your Google account or whatever you like. So this is the compiler. It will ask you some questions. Just fill out the forms. And compilers is the name of the the group I'm working with. So I've added the name of them. Otherwise, you could add your own name and you can create multiple teams here. And I have just one team because I just want one. So um, let's just see there is a site that I have uploaded and if I go to this is the compiler um, you know dashboard and we'll go to sites so here are some sites that we have uploaded we have already uploaded so and let's go to add new sites right okay let me just open this and add new site. So we have we've got three options, which is import an existing project, start from a tablet, or deploy manually. What deploy manually means is actually you can drag and drop any that uh, any zip folder uh, uh, there, um, and drop uh, drop it there, and it, it's gonna upload, right? So we are not go we are not going with this option. Otherwise, there we have another option that they give some of the templates that you can go with. Otherwise, if you have any existing project, so you can upload from there, right? So we are going to import projects. So if you have project on GitLab, GitHub, Bitbucket, or Azure De De DevOps. So you can go with any option you like. So my project is on GitHub, so I'll click GitHub, right? I've already authorized my GitHub account with them, so it's, uh, it's going to show authorized. Otherwise, if you if ask you, so just say yes and follow the procedure. So this is there is only one uh, repository that I have on GitHub, so it's, going, it's showing me this. If I select this. So the owner name is compiler, as I've told you, and the branch is main. That's where you, uh, you should give attention. Uh, you, you should go and check which branch you have been working on. So it's master. So I have to select master branch, right? I have only two branches, master and main. So it, it just showed me two branches, right? So there's a master branch. After that, we have um, a base directory. Let's just leave it as it is. And there is npm run build. This uh, this uh, command is for React, obviously because um, uh, we use such kind of npm. We use npm with React, right? If somebody has wor worked with React uh, JS, so they would understand. But um, for Angular, we are going to use ng build, right? And uh, here we can, we are going to, we are not just going to use go with dist. If I have uh, selected this dist option, so and hit deploy site, uh, you know what we are going to get? We are going to get this. Or um, if we go to if go here and we are going to get this, uh, you know, page not found error, right? So to avoid getting this error, so what you should be doing is. You should go to your 
uh, we used to record where your code is where your code is and let's go to angular.json and search for uh, control f and say d so sorry dist and there we go we have this path and we are going to copy this path control c and there we're going to paste it right let's just delete it and there we go and we are going to say it deploy site right it's going to take some time and you could see that's so deploying my site starting up and as, as my site will be uploaded it will take a screenshot and i'll upload it here right so uh, it's going to take some time let's just uh, wait for it so So here we go. Our website has been uploaded and you can see that your site is deployed and it's published and the screenshot of my website is already there. And yeah, if we click on this link, so it's going to show us our website that I have made. And there we go. Right. It has all of the functions, all of the feature working, running. And if I click home, it's, um, it is let me letting me go in there. And if I like it's working, right? So uh, the, the problem here is what I see is like, uh, I don't like this name, right? So what I'm going to do is let's go to site settings. There is site settings. There is a name site name, which I don't like it. So let's just change this name and change site name. And we are going to write our our own desired or preferable name. So if I just want to say it my website, let's just suppose we are we want it to be my website. So there are some rules you cannot uh, you can read the rules. I cannot write uh, capital letters or camel case. Uh, this is what you can do, right? So my website dot netlify. This would be your um, URL. So you can see and hit save. This site, uh, this name is already taken. And if I say two zero four, uh, and let's there we go. So we have a, a website name my website and you can see that the link has been changed so let's go and let's hit that and my website 204 right and let's just uh, at first the name was singular Beijing who I don't know what it's called but okay my website 204 and this is the name of new uh, let's just refresh it now it's site not found it's great okay let's just cross it and it's again working fine if I click to services and contact okay let's go to about and download CV it's working okay so we have discussed how we can change our na website name or get away from any error that that may cause our website to show uh, that site not found or you have used um, the wrong uh, path so that's it for this video. 